Hey, we just got a box from Amazon. I ordered this this morning. I get up early. I ordered this at 4.30 this morning, before 6 o'clock this afternoon. It was here. It's a new coffee pot. Our coffee pot went bad this morning, and so I right away ordered one. I can't do it without my coffee. So we're going to open up, check it out. So, hey, guys, follow along. That was quick, you know, in one day. Guys, here's our old coffee pot. It's still got water in it from this morning. Oh, I'm spreading it on my hand. It smells good. I get that great flavored coffee. But anyways, it's dead. We've had this one for uh, I, I'm guess over five years. When you think about it, I use this coffee pot every day, and no wonder it went bad. I, I noticed it hadn't been getting very warm lately, but it bit the ghost. It's getting yucky, so it needs replaced. So we got this new one. Let's get the little knife out here and let's just open this up and see what we got. I didn't buy the cheapest one this time. I bought one that was just a little bit more money. And uh, we're gonna see what we got here. It's a Boss Care. Let's see how we can get this out of the box. Sometimes it hangs, will come out of the box easy, sometimes they don't. Especially when you're trying to film it. There we go. Put this off the side. So here is, here's our new coffee maker. It's a uh, Boss Care coffee maker. Uh, it's a, it only has 10 cups. After I ordered, I wanted a 12 cup. And it's like, no, I already ordered, I needed it. I could get by with a 10 cup. I just have to make it. I don't make coffee every day. Usually if every about three days. I probably make it every two days now, which is all right. It's just be fresher. But yeah, it does 10 cups, has a removable washable filter with a anti-drip feature. So we're gonna check this out. It looks nice. It's stainless steel, matches all our other appliances are stainless steel. Uh, so it'll match on it, on off switch, the digital thing. I like the anti-drip feature. Sometimes I get in a hurry when I get a cup and you put it underneath there and, and it drips on you. I wonder if it comes with donuts. No, that's not a donut. Anyway, so let's just take this and open it up and just see what we got here. I gotta make some coffee for tomorrow morning. I've been waiting, hoping this actually came today and didn't make my coffee. It comes with a, a manual, as well as most things come with a manual. Big read, writing right there, I can see that almost. You know, I think they're so small, I can see that very well. So that's, that's pretty cool. It's got its own filter that you can, reusable. I won't have to use all these different um, disposable filters. So there is the manual. Got some styrofoam packing in here. Let's see if we can get this apart. There we go. That came right out. It's packed nicely. And what I'm going to do is lay this on the side because I know it's glass and just slide it on out. The bottom, there's nothing else in the bottom. We'll throw this stuff down in here off to the side for now. Start taking things apart. That's usually the hardest part is getting things all apart. I want to get this. There we go. There's the craft. Comes with some wrapped up. It's got a, a measure. I don't know about you guys, I don't measure my coffee. I like it strong, I just dump it in there. So, But it does have a measuring spoon. Nice and clean compared to our old one. You know, don't look, see this one is a 12 cup. This is a 10 cup. So it's just a little bit smaller, but we'll get by with that. That'll be fine. So there's the carafe and a measuring. Pull this up out of here and get to the heart of the unit itself. Not too much to these, really. Now, I'll leave a link. I got this on Amazon. And so I'll leave a link to the Amazon. This was, I believe it was right around $50. 
Uh, so we'll leave a link there. I didn't said didn't buy the cheapest one. I bought one just a little bit, but maybe better inside here. This is what I kind of like about this. This has this reusable filter. I don't have to use the filters anymore. Down in here is a little cone. It has this little thing at the bottom. That's when you pull your coffee maker out. It's like it shuts it off. You can get a cup of coffee out. It's supposed to not drip. A lot of those will still drip. They say it's a non-drip. And so when you pull it out, it, it stops that from it, as it's making coffee. You get anxious. I want a cup of coffee in the morning. So uh, this way it'll stop it. We'll have to plug it in, get it set up. It has a numbered screen and that on it here. So we'll check this all out. Let's see if we got enough room here to reach and plug this in. I'll unplug the old one. Let's see if we can reach to that. I got to come back here just a little bit to get to it. There we go. There it is. See, it's it's blinking. I will go through here. It has things where you can set up your minutes. See, I just moved that to minutes. And then there's hours on this end. And you want to make sure you get it on the right one so it, it comes on at the time you want to. I get it. I set it to come on about 3.30 in the morning because a lot of times I'm up at 4, have my coffee re ready. You can set your strength. I want it strong. Has an on and off and a program. Pretty simple. Uh, little number thing on time. It tells you how much up to 10 cups. I always feel it curve full because I'm going to make coffee. I want to drink that baby. I'm not going to make a partial coffee. It's a pretty simple layout. We're going to go ahead and get it set up here. And I won't start it up till tomorrow morning because I don't need coffee. And that's too late. I'd be up all night. Uh, but we're going to set the timer and get it all set up and get rid of the old one. And there's a new one. Actually, size-wise, it's uh, about the same size. It's actually a hair taller than the old one. So the old one was a, a Black and Decker. It was a real cheap one. Probably 25 bucks on it. So we'll let you know. We're going to go ahead and make this up and uh, we'll continue on to show you the new coffee pot. Okay, we have the timer set for in the morning. I think I have it right. It's in a 2400 hour format. So, like right now, it's 727. So it says 1927. I've set it, we want it to come on at 3 30 in the morning. So the other one, I set it for 3 30. I held the program button down to the little light came on, and it should be ready to go. We'll know in the morning whether I got this set right or not. So this is the first time, so we won't know till tomorrow. We'll check it out, see if we have coffee at 3.30 in the morning or 4 o'clock. All right, I want to try to show you guys how to set the time. These times can be funny. This whole system runs on 2,400-hour times. You see, our actual time right now is 8.40. So if we want to change the program time, what time we want it to start, uh, say in the morning you want it, your coffee to start at a certain time, what I have to do is I hit the program button, and you see it went to 325, and that's when I want it to start. So if I, oh, I messed it up right there. Let's hit it back. you got to hit it, so hours. See, there we go. See, I'm on the, see, it's blinking. I want to get this back around here to 3. Even after I explain this to you, it might not make sense. There you go. See, 325, that is when I want the coffee pot to come on. I get up very early. So now it's back to our regular. I hit that button there. It's not 9. It's 841. So I go back here to the hour, and I want this to say 8 instead of 9. And you see it's 24 hours. See, it's 19, 20, 21, 24. So I want to come this back around to it says 8. There you go. This is our correct time right now. It's actually 8.44, so let's take the, there's the actual time, 8.44. I have the th other one set for 3.29 for it to start. In order to get the, turn on the timer every day, I hit, there, see it blinking there? It should go off and remain blinked here. Let's see if that, and I didn't do it right. All right, guys, we're going to try to attempt you to turn the timer on. You're going to hit it once and twice. 
and see it's on. So I hit it two times. You hit it two times and it'll come on and then it's ready to go for the next day. All right, we're gonna make a pot of coffee for tomorrow. Now this, you can use a paper filter. You can just put it down in here, add your coffee to it and you're all set. Now it comes with this reusable filter so I don't know why anybody would want to use a paper one and it'll fit right down in here. So here's what we're going to do. This, this unit here goes into the top, just like most coffee makers. You line it up here. There's a tab. You line that tab up here to the side. And then all I need to do, now you can measure it out. People mostly measure their coffee. I don't because I like strong coffee. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting about three quarters of that basket full, full of my favorite. I like this creme brulee, it's really good. And then this will go down into the holder like so. We've got 10 cups of water filled up to the top. So we'll pour that into the top here. all the way to the top. The craft will go down in to the bottom here. We just close her down. And so we're set. In order to start, I showed you how we set the program. You set the time and what time you want it to start. So I want to start. Now you can start it right away. If you just hit the on and off button, you can start and brew this pot right now. You can set your strengths. If you hit that strength and see the little, I don't know if you can see it or not, the little red light comes on. That's it's strong, I like strong, so that's why I set it strength. Now in order to program it, I only hit it twice, once, twice, and there we go. You see the little light is on by the time, and now it's ready to go. That's all it is, hit it twice, that will set it into the program mode. So there's, we're ready to make coffee in the morning. Now my little thoughts on it, their instruction booklet was vague, probably, translated from a different language so you have to kind of go through a little bit and understand what they're trying to tell you the quality of it it has it's all plastic this uh it could this might be a metal outside here i expected for the price to be just a little higher quality than what it is now the the key is how long does it hold up how well does it work now i made a pot last night came out very good so the first initial pot really worked out and really nice. So I'm happy with it on that part. Uh, the quality, we'll see how it holds up. I said, there's so much plastic being used today. I just thought maybe the quality would be just a little stronger because this wasn't, this was about double of the cheaper pots. So I thought, well, I'll buy a little better one. So we'll see how it works out. I hope this was a little bit of help. Um, setting the time is very confusing. You can send me a question, but I might not know about the answer because I get confused. You just got to do like I do, work it through till you get it. That's what I do on most things. I found it just a little difficult. Maybe I do use it more, I'll get used to it. All coffee pots to me seem like it's very difficult to program. Well, I hope this helped you out a little bit of the Boss Care coffee pot that we purchased from Amazon. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in one of these there. You can purchase it off the link from Amazon. I hope I, you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Um, we do all kinds of, of reviews. This happened to be a coffee pot. We got news, so we did a review of the coffee pot there. So if you guys are not a subscriber, I invite you to hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, I'll try to answer it. You know, I'm just a, a reviewer. I'm not tech support, so uh, I can do what I can do to answer your questions. So we'll see what we can do. Appreciate it, guys. You have a great day. Enjoy yourself a good cup of coffee because this first one was very good. I really enjoyed my coffee this morning. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, if you want to see how to get some of our other links, when you go to our main YouTube page, up here in the picture area right here, you'll see it says like Facebook. You can click on that. That'll take you right over to our Facebook group. And you're welcome. You can join the Facebook group. 
uh, add your videos, add uh, whatever you meant, do some discussion there, but you can go there. If you would like to uh, support us on the Amazon, again, up in this picture, you'll see a uh, link that says Amazon. Click on that link right there. Go ahead and sign in, make all your purchases, and uh, what will happen here, you'll give us a tip. It uh, We get a small percentage back. Cost you absolutely nothing, uh, but it does help us out, and we appreciate that. But I just show you a few little links here if you want to uh, uh, go to some of the other features we have here at Lucky Dog Productions.